from the Irongo mountain and surrounds, uh, Namibia. A uh, albaite tourmaline crystal. Why I say albaite versus shawl is, um, I think on the still pictures you'll see it. When you put a bit of color onto it, it's almost got this greenish look. But it'll be a multitude of different uh, uh, t uh, colors in the albaite tourmaline mixture of colors. Um, coating over here would be some highlight, which, which would fluoresce under shortwave UV light. Um, on this side, we have a little bit of feldspar sitting here. When we turn it up over, we have almost a a, a shooting star-like tail end of the sky. Um, and let's see if we can overexpose slightly, and you'll see the different color variations under thinner crystals, especially where the light shines through. Actually, funny about the Irongo, we talk often of shell tourmalines, but in actuality, with strong lighting, they all have a multitude of colors. Um, uh, so, so uh, the the uh, use in industry for shawl tourmaline, uh, this is why the, the shawl tourmalines aren't mined uh, uh, economically. It's actually a product of informal mining because they, they don't have quite the qualities of the shawl tourmaline um, from an industrial point of view. But this would, of course, be the albaite tourmaline. So you'll, I don't know if you're good with colors. Maybe you'll see here, it's, it's not so much black. It's, it's almost a green sheen to it. Uh, 